There are many videos which I made on Saturn, but yet I realized that there are so many things which people do to improve your Saturn with doing things that is destroying your Saturn. Yes. So I see people doing so many remedies for Saturn and yet their lives don't change. Why? Because on the uh, one on one hand they are doing uh, some artificial uh, so called remedies which is prevalent in the astrology uh, in the totka market of india and in the gemstone market in the uh, fancy places <laughs> which are known for uh, astrology uh, in india but yet that is not accompanied by any lifestyle change because of which what happens is the lifestyle has not improved so the inherent traits of saturn they have not improved and then they are like oh, clueless and wondering what's going on when will saturn give remedy uh, results so one of the remedies which uh, people do is uh, they wear neelam so the blue sapphire so they think oh you have any saturn problem then wear blue sapphire it's done so what happens when you wear a gemstone is the energy of the planet uh, gets magnified so if you are if you are very bad in traits of saturn then that makes things worse it's true for any gemstone or they have this uh, fasting on saturdays so they think that just by not eating something on one day of the week all all problems of saturn will vanish another is uh, they will uh, feed crows <laughs> or they will feed uh, uh, some, some anything which is black in color or they will donate black color clothes to beggars or to poor people or to orphans or to children um, who are in economically uh, uh, impoverished uh, situations so because of all this what happens is there is a conception that if i just do something externally my saturn will change and it will uh, improve and yeah wonders will happen in my life well i wish that was true but in spite of doing all this you will see that your saturn doesn't improve you still suffer whenever there is a dasha or a pratyantar or whenever there is a bad transit of saturn not necessarily sare sat it could be any transit If Saturn transits in six from your Venus, you might suffer in your married life. Okay, for those two and a half years. Why? Because inherently you have not solved the problem. So therefore, today we shall discuss some of the things which you might be doing along with the Saturn remedies, because of which you are seeing no results. Okay. So this is like a person who says, "Oh, I want to lose weight," or you know. i want to gain muscle and the person goes to the gym every day one hour two hour three hours four hours <laughs> and then when the person comes home uh, he's just going on eating whatever he wants okay so by that you cannot build muscle neither can you lose weight because if you want to achieve anything substantial in matters of your health exercise is always secondary the primary is the food that you put inside you cannot compensate a bad diet using a good exercise regime you just can't it doesn't work many times people think oh i will eat this junk and i will you know run for five more minutes <laughs> it doesn't work like that because that junk will do its job of course running five more minutes in the treadmill will have another effect but it will not nullify each other okay so it's the same with saturn and all other planets and any area of your life because all these planets are reflecting certain areas of our lives okay so therefore if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and you can watch the saturn playlist that i have here uh, if you want to see other videos on saturn okay if you want more uh, knowledge on what saturn is or what how exactly saturn behaves what does saturn want you to do okay and uh, as usual if you are uh, wanting a consultation from me regarding your saturn or career health marriage relationships you can always go to my website down in the description section to book a reading with me and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and <laughs>
he is the only one who can help you from a bad saturn okay so we know what saturn is saturn represents uh, anything which you don't like that's saturn in short class uh, case dismissed <laughs> class is over anything that you uh, not necessarily you hate but you want to stay away from that's typical saturn anything that you don't like anything that you wish is the last thing you would do or anything that would be the last thing in your minds that is saturn in short okay things that you run away from <laughs> that's typical saturn so now saturn has a good side and a bad side on a bad side it represents suffering you know being abandoned by somebody planets conjunct saturn you might be abandoned by somebody saturn venus your spouse might leave you or you might leave your spouse saturn mercury your friends might abandon you sun saturn your father might abandon you. moon saturn your mother might abandon you you may stay together but you may feel as if my mother has abandoned me okay so therefore that's the bad side of saturn now saturn also has a good side what is that good side good side is you know like you have uh discipline in your life you have commitment you have a uh, structure in your life you know, commitment comes from the sun but saturn prolongs that commitment saturn is like okay whatever is required to do uh, to make that commitment hold to i will do it in my life so therefore anything anything that you do that hinders these good traits of saturn will actually ruin your saturn so for example if you are just lazy you have no focus in life you have no goals nothing you have no specific time when you get up when you sleep or you, know, you are just doing things as the uh, scripture say manorathe na sati dhavato bahi you are just going on in the chariot of the mind as the bhagavatam says and then your saturn is definitely going to be ruined which means you have no control over your mind and arjuna says this uh, to lord krishna that the mind is more difficult to control than the winds okay i can control the wind but i cannot control uh, the mind it's very difficult okay therefore if you want that you do not ruin your saturn then please have some order in your life for your sake not for god's sake <laughs> which means you should have a proper schedule like many times people i have seen uh, many uh, entrepreneurs and uh, millionaires they make these uh, hourly schedules so as soon as you get up in the morning you take a bath and you come to your table or you are doing mantras or whatever you write what will i do today what will i do at 5 am what will i do at 6 am what will i do at 7 am you may not write for every hour you may write every 3 hours okay 6 to 9 i'll do this 9 to 12 i'll do this office work now most of the people are in home office because of the covid situation okay 12 to 3 i'll be relax i'll spend some time with my family and then 3 to 6 i'll again work and then from 6 to 9 i'll do something some exercise or whatever that that's up to you you plan it okay you decide it and then you try to stick to it you try to follow it try to do what you decided the the moment you uh, stop doing what you decided that is the time you start disrespecting yourself because then you you have no uh, you have no fuel inside you that uh, fuels you the next time because you start thinking anyways i don't have any determination anyways i can't do it even if i make a resolution uh, take a resolution i can't follow it so what's the use therefore instead of thinking too much write down your thoughts in a paper don't just don't just keep uh, your thoughts uh, like that in your mind okay it just scatters all around the place and it makes your life very miserable so therefore you can maintain this hourly sheet okay you can go to excel and you can write today's date hour what time you get up and like this till 9 pm you can keep writing okay 
and then over one week you analyze what did you do where which hour among these last seven days was i the most uh, least productive <laughs> i was the most least productive okay so you can try to figure it out generally for people it happens after they take lunch they want to take a nap so they figure out sometimes you know oh, one to two is very dangerous for me two to three or 12 30 to 1 30. so you will have your own time when whatever you no matter whatever you want or whatever you do you just can't work it happens with everybody but that doesn't mean the whole day you should remain like that and this is not only for your job this is for every damn area of your life okay it can be for your health your exercise your meditation your uh, puja vandana whatever you do okay cooking or having some creative work okay so the moment you don't make any schedule for the day, if you are very advanced, very elevated, you can make it in your mind and you can follow it. But if you think you are not at that level, then it's good if you do it in an Excel sheet. Okay. Very simple. You can take a pen and paper and do it yourself. Right. So this is a very uh, easy way to uh, protect your Saturn because otherwise that energy of Saturn starts becoming more and more negative. You see what happens. Now, what is the other way of uh, ruining your Saturn? And I see most of the people, they fall into this category. Okay. This is the category, uh, this, is, this is, you know, enhancing or artificially bringing out all the negativity from Saturn. What are the negative traits? One of the negative traits of Saturn is, it always looks down, you know, Saturn is looking down, pessimistic. Or it also means you look down on other people. It could be yourself or other people also. It could also mean that you denigrate somebody or you try to uh, subtly do it. You may not do it grossly. Grossly, you may praise that person. Oh, yes, what you did was very good. But it could happen that subtly you have done something because of which that person has felt uh, very insecure. So the moment you make somebody uh, feel as if uh, they are inferior to you or I would say if you make somebody feel there that uh, they have to become insecure then that is the time you are ruining your Saturn because what happens the moment you make somebody insecure then that person abandons you definitely <laughs> suppose I don't have something in life and I meet one person and that person says, okay, you have everything in life, you know, nice. So what about that thing? You know, you have that. I start thinking, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's something which is in my life, which maybe I don't have, which others have. And everybody is going to have something or the other, which your neighbor, your brother, sister has, but you don't. You can't escape that. You cannot have everything. So imagine staying with a person who always reminds you of the things that you do not have. Then what do you do? You maintain distance from that person. You abandon that person. So what happens? If you make others feel insecure, you get abandoned. <laughs> Therefore, uh, try your best to make other people uh, more secure around you. Security is a very uh, Jupiterian energy. Insecurity is the energy of Saturn. You may be, uh, you may be artificially doing uh, things externally without noticing. That might make other people very insecure. So therefore, if you make other people feel insecure about themselves or about anything that they identify with, like many times, uh, I have this experience when uh, you do some spiritual practices, uh, you will have your friends and relatives and so many people coming and telling. Hey, what is all this? You know, after all, what will you get after doing all this? After all, you just need money and you just need a good spouse. You know, that's all you need, need in life. You, know, you don't need all this, you know, mantras and all this. You know, These things are not needed after all. Okay. So then what happens? Immediately, uh, Mars becomes active. So when you try to make somebody feel insecure, their defense mechanism gets activated. What, which planet represents defense? Yes, you guessed it right. Mangal, Mars. 
So then you go into a battleground. So now you know what is Mars and Saturn conjunction. <laughs> Attacking somebody, defending oneself. Making somebody insecure and that person defending themselves. Okay. Therefore, if you uh, if you try your best, now you may not be able to make somebody uh, secure. You may not be able to make them feel good about themselves necessarily, but at least is there in your control to not make them feel worse about themselves. Because in Kali Yuga, most of the people, their lives are terrible. Uh, even if they have a lot of money, they are losing it. Uh, their expenditure is sky high. They are taking loans and they have ruined their lives. Most of the people in Kali Yuga. Relationships, they are not happy. Either they are finding somebody, but uh, they want to find somebody they are not able to find. Or if they have found out somebody now, they are not interested in them anymore. Or that, the spouse is not interested in them anymore. Or they don't see their marriage going anywhere. So they might stay artificially together just for the sake of family or like some social norms or something like that. Or they are having affairs. They are uh, hopping from one person to the other like dogs. That's what people are doing in Kaliva. Or they may not be hopping, but they may be eyeing uh, in the, uh, the some, somebody else. Uh, you may eye on the spouse of some other person. <laughs> you may not be uh, doing something uh, actively, but that may be there in your mind. All right. So, um, and health wise, people have ruined their health by eating meat and fast food and addicting themselves to sugar, getting addicted to sugar. So, therefore, most of the people in Kaliva, they are miserable. They, uh, their life is like hell. Okay. In some area of life or the other, you will always feel that, yeah, my life is like hell. I am suffering and I can absolutely do nothing about it. Okay, So already people are so miserable. If you meet somebody and you say, oh, anyways, you know, okay, what about that? When will you have that? So then they may feel more miserable. So understand that people in Kali Yuga are miserable. They are 100,000 times miserable than our grandparents or great-grandparents. Okay. Or maybe even our parents. Yes, look at our generation. Always unhappy, running behind things and still not happy. <laughs> they have so much more than what our parents and our grandparents had externally. Hmm? But still there's no happiness. Why? Because they have lost the essence. The essence of everything which is uh, to please Lord Vishnu, that is missing. To connect to God, that is not there. That is why they are miserable. So, once you know this, then you can try to see how you can make that person feel good about themselves. Now, making somebody feel good about themselves doesn't mean uh, just artificially praising somebody, boasting somebody's ego or something. No, not that. You can deliberately, consciously make an attempt to help that person. Depending on what the person's situation is. So, for example, if a person is very materialistic, if you tell them very high-level spiritual stuff, you know, they, they will be least interested. So, then you can try to tell them, okay, uh, you can do some meditation. You can be more focused. You can be more productive by that. Your business might Im improve. You, know, you might gain more money. So, some, some material incentive you can give them to start with some meditation, then you can introduce mantras, then you can introduce reading Bhagavad Gita, something like this. Okay, But if you directly tell them, oh, I am going to uh, Haridwar or I am going to Vindavan, I am going to Banaras for 10 days, will you come and join me? You know, Then they won't be uh, willing because they don't value that because they think doing that is a waste of time. It's better to go to a pub and dance with somebody rather than doing that. Okay. So therefore, depending on people's level and uh, situation and their uh, conviction, you have to know how to elevate them gradually. Okay. So just superficially praising somebody uh, doesn't get you anywhere. Okay. So therefore, please do not make people uh, more insecure. As I said, because <laughs> they are already very insecure in Kali Yuga. And from the time I have been speaking this, many of you might have already felt very insecure. Oh my God, what is he telling? So therefore, when you are dealing with somebody on a one-to-one -one basis, please try your best not to do that. Okay. I know it's easier said than done, but you have to gradually imbibe these principles. Otherwise, 
you will see one after the other people will start leaving you now you may say oh that person was good he was bad blah 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 whatever you say but at the end you are getting abandoned so the negativity of saturn has come to you because you invited it <laughs> all right so there are many ways to ruin your saturn and uh, i would be very interested to know what other ways by which you think uh, you can ruin your saturn or improve your saturn all right so please write it down in the comments and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it below consultations are through my website down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him irrespective of where or how your saturn is okay thank you very much